Welcome back. What explosion? EV. Piece of Eden detonated and took the lab with it. The magic lump of hyperbolic metal. I'm shocked. Simply because you have never valued the pieces does not All mean... went according to plan, hmm? <clears throat> There was a slight complication. How slight? The lab exploded. Jacob. You derailed a train. Oh, he did. Did he? Well, the train derailed and I happened to be on it. I killed my target. Brewster is also no more. Then all in all, a successful mission in spite of you two. What about London? What about it? We're wasting our time out here. You know as well as I do that London has been the domain of the Templars for the last hundred years. They are far too strong yet. Patience. The Templars have found a new piece of Eden. Sir David is dead. They do not know how to use it. The Council shall guide us. Sound advice that your father would have seconded. I shall see you back in Crawley. Patience, Evie. Ah. Oh. The gentle sound of opportunity passing us by. So what's stopping us? London is waiting to be liberated. Forget Crawley. Father would have wanted us to listen. Oh, Father. You could continue his legacy in London. Freeing future generations from a city ruled by Templars. You know, Jacob Fry. You might just be right. Then shall we? Yes. Let's. Oh boy. So we off to London. It's House Creed Syndicate. It's here, it's the logo. Oh man. What I know. what a game so so far. I only had a taste of our latest acquisition from Abstergo. But I want to check in on Sean and Rebecca. I still think attacking a Templar is a mistake. They're still in there? Are you dumb? Dr. Grammatica. Come on. Oh, Isabel. What a lovely surprise. Our mutual friends will be here shortly to search for the artifact. Once it's located, I'll let you know. Super. Always a pleasure. Prick. It's people like you that give historians a bad name. I'm afraid I don't have time for you today, Mr. Hastings. Thank you for making my job easy. Oh, shit. It does look grim. Masterberg, Agent Acosta. Deal with them, please. Move it! Hunt them down! Oh, they just dove out the window. Oh, my. All I had to do was wait for you to search the data. Their little stunt has put the whole operation at risk. Need to synchronize Jacob and Evie's memories. Find something that puts us ahead of the enemy. Time is of the essence, and lives are now clearly on the line. Good luck. Wow. Wow. Thanks a lot, guys. I have to do this on my own, and it makes it even harder because you guys screwed it up. So now, not only do I have to sit there do this now, I have to worry because they all screwed it up. Got it, got it, got it, got it, gone wrong. It's gone, gone wrong now because they all did it so wrongly. I've never seen so many people all at once. 
churning seas of London. It's just the way Father described. Now, to find Henry Green and formulate a plan of attack against the Templars. Is Mr. Green again? The assassin watching over London? Did you not listen the first three times? Listen to what? <laughs> Oi, watch it. Ben Pardon, sir. Oi! Come back here, you filthy dipper! Oh boy. Give me a second, real quick. Let's go. Where the kid at? Where the kid go? Find your little mobsman. Keep it. Well, well. What do we have here? You're on our property. Excellent. What else does London have to offer? Now is not the time for tourism, Jacob. Now's the time to find Henry Green. I've always been the quicker climber, haven't I? Not since we were two. Race it to the highest vantage point. Not on my watch! She might have beat me. Yeah. Oh, she beat me. Oh, no. get her back for that she got she got there before me definitely gonna get her back the view from up here looks back where is mr green's shop located it was marked on father's map two assassins equal in height one female one male two decades old and those devilish smiles you must be the Fry Twins. And you are? Henry Green, at your service. Henry Green? I'm sorry to learn about your father's passing. Thank you. Thank you. Tell us about Crawford Starrick. I suppose the council desires news. London must be freed. To 
provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the Council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, I am the bearer of bad news. Today, Staric sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Oh, no. Every borough, the gangs, the industries. His reach extends all across London. I've always thought of myself as a gang leader. Firm, but fair. Huh. Well, I have uniforms. And I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders under one name. That's it, Evie. We can rally them to our side. Oh, like the way that you rallied those card players at the Oakwood Tavern into the river. Oh, that was different. They beat me at whist. I can see it now. We'll call ourselves the Rooks. You were never good at chess either. Have you got a better plan? Find the piece of Eden. Oh, well, let me show you the lay of the land. Shall we? <laughs> okay. Climb the chimney and see all of London for yourself. All right, let's go to the top. Yeah, this thing's actually high. Oh wow. Oh yeah, you can definitely see the whole place from here, man. Yo. There's like the main holy crap this that just this place is huge man. Oh yeah. What has done to the city. Whitechapel is riddled with crime. Child labor, despite regulations. A gang known as the Blighters overruns the streets and Templars manipulating behind the scenes. As in all the other boroughs, we need to return this city to the people who built it in the first place. That's true. From Staric, you have my word. I my looks. Miss Fry, your passion is inspiring. Come. Come. Let this be done. I can bring you up to date on the rest. Up to date on the rest. I think they like each other, I'm just saying. Maybe I'm just lying, but... And that's just... looking for me. Who's Kalok? One of Staric's gang leaders. Why does he want you? He's after some of my more arcane research into one of the precursor artifacts. The Peace of Eden. So tell me about these blighters. In search of an army, Staric gathered up the nastiest of the underworld. Some of the city's gangs tried to prevent it and were slaughtered for their efforts. Now, only Whitechapel's clinkers remain opposed, but they're no match for the blighters. Well, let's shine these clinkers up then, shall we? They're just the sort we're looking for. You can't be serious. Evie, they're ready to fight and oppose the blighters. This is my chance to step in. Look out, London. Here come the rooks. Haha. <laughs> oh, man. Now, why are we running? this city no one looks where they're going yes I've noticed that bloody drood I'll never finish it at this rate only Providence knows where those words are headed now well I must get to work replacing them should you ever be in the mood for a tale or two you can always find me where the ale is warm and tempers are hot Ta -ta. Charles Dickens Odd man that mr. Fry was Charles Dickens Knows everyone and everything in the city. If I were you, I would keep that connection in your back. Sure, I was talking to Charles Dickens? Oh no. Okay, looks gang is nearby. They must not follow me back to my shop. We'll take care of it. Yeah. You might be able to use this. Oh god, I hope so. They get guns? 
Make use of it to throw them off my trail. I will meet you at the curio shop. Okay. Now we're gonna kill some guys. I like that. Oh, we get to drive this thing. Here comes trouble. Turn to Mr. Green. Aye, aye, Captain. You're relentless. That relentlessness will see me become master when we finish this. George would do nothing of the sort. Whatever's left of the creed would perish under your control. Harsh words, dear sister. I do hope Mr. Green made it back safely. Don't tell me you fancy the bloke already. And what do you suggest we do if our number one source of information turns up dead? Starrick can't be that hard to find. I say we turn the carriage round and go find him. This is why you aren't in charge. Doing fine, girl. Steady on. Okay, it's up. Oh, it's up here. Let's go. <laughs> Who's a good horse? You are. Slow down now! Keep moving. Here I come! <laughs> I just love doing this. So I was just messing around for a minute. Over the years, I have established a number of connections across the city. Splendid. We'll need focused aid. Focused aid? <sighs> we take over Starek's gangs, we cripple his control. You're not aiming high enough. Starek has influence in every branch of society. We need to match him. I see what you're saying, Evie. We need the Rooks. The Rooks. <laughs> you're not starting a gang called the Rooks. I believe I may have an idea of my own. We will need the police to turn a blind eye to activities. My ally in the force, Sergeant Abilene. I've heard he's a master of disguise. Stop. <laughs> Urchins. 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 Children make for excellent spies. Clara O'Day. Smart as a whip, that one. Finally, you would be wise to remember that Starrick never acts alone. There are gang leaders in every borough. You'll meet them soon enough, no doubt. <laughs> Known for his ability to vanish before your very eyes. Vanish for real? I suppose. One moment. <laughs> um, a Templar target you might want to look into. Uh, be cautious. It's rough out there. 
Okay. Don't worry about me, Greenie. I can handle a few thugs. <laughs> Greenie, Greenie. Oh, that was it. Okay, well, that's the end of sequence three. That was cool. Real quick one. I hope you enjoyed that sequence. But yeah, if you enjoyed the sequence, if you enjoyed the mission, like, subscribe for the other missions that I will be putting out soon. But I want to see. I hope you hope that you you know this is something that everyone's liking because Assassin's Creed is like one of my top favorites. Because I've played Assassin's Creed for a super long time, like a real long time. Like I've had pretty much almost all of them. I've had a, way back. I played all of them. Way going back to Brotherhood, that was like the earliest I've played. It's been forever. I played so many. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed.